Control arm upgrades are arguably just as critical for improving your suspensions as shock struts or coilovers are. And in many cases, lots of coilovers, shocks, and overall lift kits will require them. But do they actually improve ride? Well, let's talk about it. Upgraded control arms, almost regardless of suspension design, will utilize joints that are smoother operating, generally have greater articulation, and generally will correct geometry and allow for more usable travel. That resistance towards movement of the stock joints also equates to a limited range of motion at stock joints. Upgraded control arms with better joints don't just operate more smoothly, they have a greater operating angle, which means less bind and the potential for more usable travel. Stock joints start off at hard to move and get harder to move as you near the limits of the angle they can take. Those last few degrees of articulation as bind is starting to occur really tighten things up as far as suspension is concerned and can make things feel even harsher. By having joints that can operate at much higher angles, your suspension will be fighting through bind through less of its travel, which obviously helps ride. This not only will probably unlock a little bit of travel from your existing shocks, but in many cases will allow you to run even longer travel options. When it comes to comfort and ride performance it is just as much about the quality of your shocks and springs as it is the quantity of the travel so if you can bump those travel numbers up a bit well brother you're probably going to have a better ride